my name is Philip Allen. I'm a 17-year-old music producer and recording artist here in Chicago, and I'm also the worship leader at Uptown Baptist Church. What's your music? So, I first got involved with music when I was about six years old. Um, I would watch my older sister, um, she would take piano lessons, I would pull up a chair and I would start like conducting um, the piano and my sister's teacher was like wow he's conducting in time and everything and she said from that moment she said this kid's got music in him and um, that same the same year um, my parents decided to put me taking piano lessons with her um, a wonderful uh, old lady she was she's actually 94 now um, but she was just so patient with me and um, just kind of taught me how to, how to play piano. And so I started when I was about six years old. And um, then I just kind of got more and more interested in music as I started playing. I always enjoyed listening to music. And I finally just asked my parents to give me a guitar because I'd always wanted to play guitar. Um, and they, they got me one for Christmas. and. Um, that was when I started writing, writing songs. So you started writing early then. Yeah, uh, I would say I, I probably wrote my first song when I was nine or ten years old. So, and um, again with my guitar, um, I would learn different chords, and I thought, okay, I want to make a song with this, and I just began writing and writing, and. Uh, I, got to perform them at my church sometimes, so that was great. And what was your first song that you wrote? The first song I wrote, um, I would say, I mean, I, I've written quite a lot, but um, it's a song called um, You Step Away, mm -hmm. and it was really all about how um, we, we keep stepping away from Christ and stepping away from His plan, and um, he's just always pulling us back in and so that, that was really what that was about and um, af after I wrote that song um, I, I got the vision God gave me the idea to write an album and I, I didn't know how I was going to do that because at the time I was 10 years old and I thought okay the only way I could do this is to save up a ton of money and go to a professional studio and hopefully get it done by then. Um, but God had different plans. Um, so as I kept writing and writing um, new songs and getting better, um, I met someone, I didn't really, I'd known someone. Um, and uh, at, that, at that point, I never really talked to him or his name was AJ. Never talked to him at all or anything, but I realized he loved music and he loved Christ. And I was like, okay, maybe we can start making music. And at that point, it kind of switched because I switched from worship music and um, contemporary Christian music, if you will, to like Christian hip hop, which was pretty funny. To start to how it all how it all started. So I started writing hip hop music with my friend AJ. And he got me the um, software, the computer software that I needed, and um, a couple pieces of equipment. And I thought, okay, well maybe I'll learn how to music produce with this guy, because he knows what he's doing, or <laughs> at least I thought so at the time, but we, we both were lost. <laughs> and I started um, music producing and learning how to use the software. And I really wanted to get back to where God was calling me into the contemporary Christian music industry, but you know, I, st I kept communicating and talking with my friend because um, we we just bonded in a way because he was always um, encouraging me in my music and I always encouraged him in his music and we kind of grew together. And so for about three years, three or four years, I was I just started learning how to. Do the mechanical side of writing music. I could play guitar, I could write, but I wanted to, I figured out that I could produce it on my by myself. I didn't have to go to a professional studio, so I worked all summer long and 
finally got enough money to buy nicer equipment to use and after that I said okay maybe I can start working on my own album because I had made hip-hop beats and other kinds of things but I said okay I'm gonna I'm gonna work on my own music and it was the fall of 2017 so at this point you know six about six years had six years had passed by since I kind of had the idea of making an album and I was alone in my house or yeah my house it was late at night maybe even two in the morning and I was just really in a hurt and broken place and um, I'd been through a lot of just stressful situations and um, I felt like I was drifting from God and I was just it was a really dark time and I got out my pen and I started writing a song and it was just so so hard to write this song I wrote it in 20 minutes but it was just so it was just so hard to let my let myself loose yeah. like that and I set some music to it that very night and um, this was yeah, fall of 2017 and that song was called Broken Prayer and I sent the song to a couple of my friends just my inner circle of friends I said hey I wrote this song um, what do you think and they were all like dude this is insane like you you seriously wrote this song and it's like yeah, I just you know I was just writing from my heart uh, I didn't really want to release it or anything it was just a personal song they said no you got to release this so I kind of struggled with that and I prayed about it and I finally released it in um, February 2018 and when that happened it just kind of blew up I mean it got played in 35 countries around the world I was getting texts and messages from random people I'd never even met um, just telling me how much the song really blessed them and how they could relate I had adults like full-grown people just like weeping at the song and I was like okay at this point I was like God really, I, I, God really wants me to do this. And um, I heard from some professionals in the music industry and they're like, the quality of this song is really good. And like, it would even, I just recorded it by myself. I didn't have any help or anything. Just did everything by myself. And they said, okay, you know, your, your sound is good. And I thought, well, it's time to get working on my album now. Cause that was, I, I didn't want anything you know, cheesy or anything that I would be embarrassed a few late, a few years from then. So um, I started working on producing my album, and um, I I worked just hours and hours. I think in total I probably spent six or seven hundred hours just producing my album all by myself again. I mean, I didn't have any help, uh, you know professionals helping me out or anything. I was just going as it went. And so, finally, um, I released uh, my album, and the album is called Running After Me, yeah. and it's, it's a mixture of songs. I've got, you know, your usual Christian contemporary, um, then I've got some more singer-songwriter type songs, I've got a little bit of soul in there, I've got some pop in there, I even have some, like, 70s like 80s 90s worship <laughs> kind of type songs on there so I mean it was just it's almost like it was almost like my mixtape just to kind of get my sound out there one of the things that really motivated me to keep writing this album um, again when I was rewind back to when I was like 12 or 13 um, I heard an album by a group called Mercy Me and that album really inspired me and blessed me and I thought I want to be able to do that for other people I want to be able to bless people with my music because I would go and lead worship at my church or play at banquets or other kinds of things like that and people would always come up to me and say hey I want to hear like do you have any music that I can listen to and I would be like uh no <laughs> I, I, I had nothing so um, I, I was super motivated to do this and not only that, I wanted to I wanted to show people that you know you don't have to be anyone special 
or <laughs> special in the world's eyes, I should say. You don't have to be some kind of celebrity or you don't have to have thousands of hours of you know, school and training to, to be able to do what God's called you to do. Right. You know, he, he'll help you along the way. He'll um, give you opportunities to go to school and he'll bless you in other ways like that. But what your job is, is to go and do what he, do what he says. Mm-hmm. Not, not wait around or say, okay, I'm, maybe I'm not ready or, it's like, no, just, just go for it. And that was something I struggled with because I kind of held back. I wasn't quite ready to release myself to, to people, but he's like, just, just go for it. And so that's kind of how my, my songwriting and album stuff came about. Yeah, so you can actually buy my album um, anywhere on um, I, Apple Music, iTunes, Spotify, so anywhere, any streaming service that you listen to music. You can also find it on YouTube. And I, I didn't really go into this, um, make this album to make make a profit. So when people come and tell me, oh, I, I listen to your song on YouTube, you know, that doesn't bother me. When, when people stream it for free or whatever, it doesn't bother me because it's more important <laughs> that they were able to hear it and they were able to hear the message I was trying to convey. Um, so, I mean, you can just listen wherever you, uh, wherever you can online. My YouTube channel is just uh, Philip Allen. Um, I think the name is called City Guy Covers. You can find um, a lot of my songs there. So, you can subscribe and uh, you can follow me on social media at Philip Allen Music. And um, yeah. yeah, Instagram, um, Facebook a little bit. So. I did make a Twitter account, so oh, yeah. oh, okay. um, it's also Philip Allen Music. So. Right.